So we're going to begin by washing all of our mangoes. I am going to use the skin. Some recipes call for removing the skin. I am not going to remove the skin. And then we are going to give it a good grate on the biggest side of the grater. And now let's get into the ingredients. The first ingredients I am going to use 8 tablespoons of mustard oil and 1 whole garlic. If you choose to use less or more, it's up to you. I am using some jeera and I am also using some anchar masala. The jeera was not in this video. I apologize. You can use a hot pepper, but I don't have hot pepper on hand, so I use some pepper flakes and some salt. All right. Let's get into this. Welcome back. So after washing and grating my mangoes, I am now going to put it on the scale and show you all how much mango we have before removing the extra liquid. Alright, so now let's prepare to squeeze out the liquid from the mango. I'm just showing you a quick view of the mango and all of the ingredients that is going to be used. So let's get going with the squeezing of the liquid from the mango and then we're going to place it in the sun to dry up and you'll see how much less the mango looks when the moisture that is still in the mango is removed. I only left it in the sun for three hours, by the way. All right, so this is what I am going to do. I placed my mangoes after grating in a tea towel and give it a very strong squeeze. Picture somebody or persons that you dislike tremendously in your mind and squeeze <laughs> that tea towel. Remove the liquid as much as you can. Before we continue, a quick reminder. Click the bell for new. After removing as much liquid as I possibly can, I am now going to place it on a tray and place it in the sun for three hours. I am going to distribute it properly onto this tray and put it outside on my table. it a little moist then don't leave it for three hours you can leave it for like an hour and a half depending on how hot the sun is to this day the sun was extremely hot so I use that opportunity for it to dry as much as possible so you can totally see the difference you can see how dry my, it is actually totally dry it was like almost cripsy it was really nice so the sun do it, did its thing for that three hours and I was really happy. So now I'm going to go back inside, place the mustard oil and the pepper flakes. So as I said, it is customary that you use a hot pepper, a whole pepper. And once that is heated, we're going to start to build, placing our dry mangoes into the bowl and the salt, the jeera, the anchar masala, the garlic and I also place bandania and the oil with the pepper I love plenty garlic in my kuchila so that is why I used the entire garlic all right you can cut down it all depends on your taste buds how you prefer your stuff adding the infused oil basically that's what it is and I'm now going to mix everything together. Just giving you a little closer view and give it a good mix. 
and then we are going to bottle this. Now it is totally mixed in at this point, all of the jeera and all of the anchar masala and the oils, the salt, everything is totally well mixed in at this point and we are going to place it in our bottle and place it in the sun. I place this in the sun for three days and then start using and then I, I will keep putting it in the sun. All right. So this is what it looks like before we bottle and put in the sun for it to do its thing. And also make sure that there is sufficient oil. Now I'm going to put this in the sun until the sun goes down and I will repeat this process for three days. And before we continue, a quick reminder. The fellow Trinidadian YouTuber recipe that I am going to try this week is Trini Kitchen and we're going to try her hot cross buns. So look out for that on Friday. Alright, let's going to place it on the table for the three hours and come back and you will see all the oil that was placed in this jar. This is what it looks like at three hours later. difference much difference so I will keep doing this and at day three this is what I had at day three and as I mentioned you can keep putting this back in the Sun every day as long as you wish all right it is not compulsory to do so but you can do so thank you so much for watching <laughs>